Hey there guys, this is Pratish here back with a brand new video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you create a QR code generator using Eel and Python. Now here's the program basically which I have created, let me show you. It is about here. So this is our basic application which we are creating today. And if you type anything like let me type something like GitHub right there. So I type git and get the QR code so I basically get this QR code and you can just drag and drop this to your desktop to save it. So this is the simple tool that we are creating for today's project. Now basically this has been created using HTML, CSS, JavaScript alongside with Python. I have already created a tutorial on Eel so you may can sure check that out. So let me show you what we have basically in its folder. Here is it folder basically this folder consists of an icon here and the UI sample and basically the QR code generator. Now let's check the web folder basically this web folder contains the icon and you can see here the basic HTML JavaScript and the styling. So basically I have stole all this uh, web directory from a person from internet. I thought that this UI would be great for my next project so I just thought and still it so let me just show you how i have uh, coded all this kind of just a front end and i will show you how it basically works the back end at the python so let's move over to our coding sequence so basically here we have our code editor that is atom let me just show you quick little that what we have here so basically i have first imported the io let me just show you quick little here so as you can see we have imported the IO then I have imported pi QR code basically you can install this pi QR code by using pip you can just type pip install pi QR code on your terminal and get it entered now I want to show you here that I have just installed the base 64 now to encode the basic QR code just in my JavaScript so basically here we have the eel now I have already shown you that we need to specify that which folder is this eel is going to be saved in. Now our front end are saved in this web directory so I am just writing that init web. Now we need to expose this function here. So basically I have generated a QR code. Basically this is the function with a given data. So if someone enters something like hello world or something like that text then it will be taken as a data. Now the image will take the pi QR code function to be created out right there. Now this create function will basically create the QR code out of it. So I am just saving it in a variable like image. Now basically I need to transfer all this image into my main javascript. So to do this I have just written here buffers equals to io.bytes.io now this is a function in order to convert your QR code into a text and then send it to your main JavaScript over right there now we need to convert that image into PNG right so basically I have written some scaling here so this PNG function basically did is that it will just convert that simple QR code into a PNG format and I have written here that its scale should be 8 by 8 units so this is it now we have the encoding format so basically what it will do is whenever we give in data right there it will take it and get it as an ascii value now basically the ascii value means it will just return from a to z something like that so now at last it will print qr code generation successful in the terminal or in the backend so after that been done it will basically return the data as an image format and I have given here 64 bit with an encoded format. Now this encoded format will directly link up to here the main javascript so basically this is it. Now let me show you here that the eel.start I have written this one command here basically. Now I have already shown you that in order to start an eel window you need to specify that which file it should be opened so basically here the index.html is the file which should be opened at a scale of 1000 to 600 so basically i have just specified the name of the file alongside with its size let me show you what goes inside the main javascript file so basically here i have created a uh, qr code generation function basically which is the variable we are basically importing the variable here and with the element of data basically we are giving here a data id so let me just refer to this index.html and uh, show you 
first of all you need to just import all this script here inside your index.html after that been done you need to specify at your button or and your input tag that its id is data now this data directly refers to the main.js which is here now if someone types their data here it means this data can be given to this particular variable now after giving this data it will basically connect to wheel and then it will call up our function that is generate qr basically which we have created our right here generate qr so this will basically link over here now it will create a data and it will set its image beside her now we have another function here in order to display our image or qr code now after getting our qr code we need to display it right so here is the basic command that document dot get element by id qr so here i have an another id here basically i will show you that at this moment when you need to take the input you have to give another id here that is qr which will basically take up the image so basically here is the image now this qr id directly refers to the image which we have created out of that qr code now that qr code was given by this function now this will return the image in encoded format and then it will save it as a png all right there so this is it this is the simple tool now here is the css i don't want to explain you css because it's just the color and adjustment of the back end and front end so i have explained you all the thing that are required basically now if you are trying some experimental thing then you can watch my last video where i have covered it completely from scratch now if you want to learn this more about this tutorial then what can you do is basically download this project this is available on my github page and also the link down below you can try our application so let me show you what happens basically all right there so here we are now we have this application right so what it did is basically we when we take some input all right there let me type some input here so abc and get qr code basically when we press this button it will take your front end code directly to the back end which is our python and after that been done you can get the image out right there this is the png format so png format and 6 by 6 bits so basically this is it and once it has been done you can drag and drop it directly to your desktop or any other appliances so let me show you what it has here is the icon file now you can set this up icon here all right there you can see over here this is the icon now these are all the particular code i have written so this is it guys how to create a qr code generator just inside python using eel and other stuff like html css and javascript all those kind of thing i hope you have enjoyed a lot so if you find this tutorial helpful then consider subscribing and for supporting our channel hit the like button below goodbye